Hey everybody, if you don't already know me, my name is Evan, and I'm your Monday host for Men of the Den. Seriously, I have to do this shit again? Are you kidding me? Although today's not actually Monday, today is last Wednesday. Hello from the past. But I have to film all of this tonight because... I'm going away for the weekend, bitches! That's right. I'm going to this event called Drench Fur. It's happening in Erie, Pennsylvania. It's going on from Thursday until Sunday, and it's going to be, from my understanding, pretty much a non-stop party, lots of drinking, lots of fun, and lots of bears in a water park. Sounds like a good time. So I'm going to be doing that, and because it is extremely late at night right now, I've just finished working for 10 hours. This video is not going to be my best work. I'm a slacker. I'm sorry. Seriously, though, I'm just trying to fit this in. I really have a lot of things that I need to get done. So in the interest of making my life easier, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. So this week on The Den, we're going to be switching it up a little bit. For the first time since our inception, we're going to be kind of doing our own topics. Yep, you heard me right. This week at The Den, we're going to be looking at the problem with blank. And the idea was we were each supposed to pick our own blank that bothers us and have a little rant about it. So I decided I was going to tackle something that I've actually tackled before in these videos. It's also something that's pretty near and dear to me and most people. Everybody kind of runs into this issue, especially within the gay community, but even externally. Everybody deals with it. So this week on The Den, I'm going to be talking about the problem with straight bitches. No. -uh. Problem with Elliot Brady. Nope. Problem with drunk vlogging. Today I'm going to be talking about the problem that I have with these stupid labels. In the modern gay dating scene, I guess the straight dating scene too, we seem to have developed an addiction. It's quite serious, and it's causing a lot of people a lot of grief for no fucking reason. Now I know that labels have been around for a long fucking time, but now it feels like they're getting more important than ever. Being part of the younger generation, growing up into the gay scene, all the labels were already there when I got there. So I just kind of stood there and looked at myself and took a look at all these labels and wondered what the fuck I'm supposed to pick. Kind of like choosing cough medicine. Do I have a wet cough with stuffed sinuses or do I have a dry cough with a runny nose? Do you see how ridiculous this is? Problem that I've seen with these labels is nobody really knows where they fit. I don't believe that anybody truly just sees all of the labels and reads one and says, that's me, that's it for sure. Everybody's a little self-conscious about it. Everybody's a little second-guessy about it. Am I really a bear? Am I a chub? Am I hairy enough to be an otter? Or am I just a twink? What, what am I? In a misguided attempt to define ourselves, we're actually kind of convoluting our self-image in the eyes of other people. The confusion that we go through in applying one and the trepidation that comes along with actually sticking with it, and we're basing it all on physical attributes. What is that? It's a really effective way to misrepresent yourself. It's also a really effective way to clearly portray that physical appearance is the number one most important factor for you. Now I get it, people have a type, absolutely, I should not be one to talk. There's absolutely nothing wrong with having a definite type, and an easy term to reference that type does make things a lot easier. Now the aspect of labels on its own might not be so bad and damaging and stupid, but where the real problem arises is when you get into the modern dating game. Our culture has changed. We've become a culture of efficient consumers. We want everything right now as fast as possible. And that includes our love life. Gone are the days of walking around and talking to people, actually trying to make a connection face to face with somebody. No. No, they want to stroll into the music store, walk over to the clearly labeled rock section so that they know that they can find something that's going to be an easy match, even though it might not be the best one. It's the same as going into a music store. Nobody wants to go in and dig through piles of albums to find that perfect record they've always been looking for. All these labels are really allowing us to do is peruse these online catalogs of dudes by genre. I don't want to be a genre. So not only are these labels making us more self-conscious and worried about our own place in a community that's already confusing enough to navigate, we're creating huge clear rifts between groups of people within a community that's supposed to be helping each other and coming together to create something bigger. We're doing it backwards, homos. Because the labels are the reason that we have the kink bars, and the twink bars, and the drag bars, and the bear bars, and the leather bars. Not only are we finding a whole bunch of ways to separate each other and stack us in neat little boxes, we're also finding a great way to alienate massive groups of people based on nothing other than what they look like. Pretty sure that doing shit like that hasn't been cool since the 1930s. So then what are we doing? We're forgetting a couple basic things about being a decent fucking human being. What we're forgetting is that person that you're labeling as a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions and a heart that hurts when you come up and write a label on their forehead and deem that they're not good enough. It's a brilliant way to self-sabotage our own community. It makes absolutely anybody feel a little less included and a little more lonely. So in short, again, my beef with labels. They are ridiculously arbitrary, shallow, judgmental in a way that we haven't seen since old school racism, write off massive groups of people as ones that you could not possibly be interested in because they are not your ideal type, make people feel like shit, 
But what are they actually good for? Oh yeah, that one time that you want to look at porn and you want to find one specific to what you like so you can put in the word chub right there. Not fucking worth it. So that was my rant about labels. I am a firm believer in... And the problem with Elliot Brady... When you give something a negative criticism, you have to also apply some sort of constructive way to move forward from this negative criticism or some way to rectify this issue that you're pissed off about. So my solution to these labels, a mass fucking boycott. And what's the best way to do that? Pick a random label. I'm gonna start telling everybody that I'm a super chub. That's what I'm gonna do. Everybody else is gonna have to deal with it because I'm a super chub now and that's me and that's my label. Fuck all y'all. If everybody does this, the labels become completely inaccurate, even more arbitrary than they were already, which makes them entirely useless. Nobody can use them anymore if they don't lead directly to the body type that their dick wants to find. So that's how we're gonna do it. Change your label up today. Pick one that you think sounds snazzy or just fucking make one up. If you come up with one that's really cool, send it to me. I'd love to hear it. And maybe if we can throw this whole stupid label bullshit out the door, then we'll be able to have actual groups of people coming together, extremely diverse and actually enjoying their time together. You know, find some prissy twinks up in a bear bar having a blast. Then maybe, just maybe, I might not be the only one my size at a bear bar anymore. There will be no more feeling out of place or sticking out like a sore thumb. For anybody. It's time to shut down these niche fucking markets, plain and simple. Open your mind up. Now on that note, I am going to go open my mind up on a case of beer because like I said, I've had an extremely long fucking day. I have a lot of shit to do before I go to drench fur. So once again, thank you for watching. This has been a lot of fun. Don't forget that if you have any comments, you can always comment right down there in the crotch region of YouTube. You can also subscribe so you can catch our videos every single day. That's at youtube.com slash men of the den. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash men of the den. All right, so you guys go make sure you do that. And I'm going to be busy running around here like a chicken with my head cut off. See you next Tuesday. I'm not trying to call anybody a cunt. I'm actually coming back on Tuesday. There's so much stuff that I need to do before I leave. So I will see you when I get back.